Hallelujah, church. If you just stand on your feet as we open up, as we start the service. Amen. First Peter 2 verse 24 says, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree? That we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness. By those stripes we are healed. He bore our sins on the cross. We are here this evening to celebrate the death of Christ. My son asked me this evening, why is it Good Friday? And he was able to explain it to me. He explained to me, oh, I asked him actually, and then he explained to me why it was Good Friday. He says it's, it's good, even though something bad happened, but it's good because of the result. That's why we're here to celebrate this evening. I want you to just lift your hands up and begin to imagine what the death of Jesus on the cross did for you. If you know today is good for you, I want you to just look back I want you to just imagine what Jesus went through on the cross of Calvary for you and for me. Think about it. He loved us so much. He first loved us. He died. The Bible says that even while we were still in sin, Jesus died for us. Even when you did not deserve it, when I did not deserve it, we did not deserve his love, still he died for us. Even while on the cross, he was still saying, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Lift your hands up and begin to say, Father, we thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the death of Jesus Christ. 
thank you for the liberation that you brought my way begin to appreciate him this evening that your praises your prayers your praise your your worship will come to him as a sweet smelling sour begin to appreciate god this evening thank him for bringing you here your steps the bible says that the steps of a righteous man is ordered by god the lord has brought you here this evening for a reason i want you to lift your hands up and say father thank you for bringing me to your sanctuary in your presence the word says there is fullness of joy lift your hands and appreciate god this evening appreciate him this evening the word says lord for unto you shall the gathering of your people be father we have not come unto man but we have come unto you we lay down all our problems we lay down all our burdens we lay down our cross we lay down everything down on your feet lord and we ask oh god that you inhabit our praises this evening in the name of jesus christ father we ask that chains shall be broken we ask oh god that burdens shall be lifted this evening that your name will be praised in the name of jesus christ thank you for the cross thank you lord almighty for finding me worthy thank you lord almighty for loving me even when i was unlovable Father, we give you thanks. We ask, so oh God, that you alone be God in this place. You alone be exalted in this place. Let everyone else be a liar, but you alone be true. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare this service open. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Put your hands together for the Lord.
your love oh lord who can fathom your mercy your grace no one can oh god father thank you thank you lord glory be to your name oh god jesus you are worthy jesus you are worthy How deep the Father's love for us, how fast beyond all measure that He would give His only Son to make the wretch this treasure how great the pain of searing loss the father turns his face away the wounds which mind the chosen one bring men me sons to glory behold the man upon the cross my sin my sin upon his shoulders ashamed ashamed i hear my mocking voice called out among the stars it was my sin that held him there Until it was a calm His dying breath 
has brought me luck. I know that it is finished. I do not boast in anything. No power, no no wisdom, but I will boast in Jesus Christ, His death and resurrection. Why should I give? But this I know with all my heart His wounds have been my ransom Why should, why should I gain from His reward? I cannot, I cannot But this I know with all my heart His wounds have paid my ransom Why should I gain from His I cannot give His wounds has paid my ransom. We thank you, Lord. His wounds have paid my ransom. Oh, if not for you, Lord, His wounds have paid my ransom. Ye kala lo bo zara basu watara chelele bo na na bale la la lo bo we thank you lord we thank you lord we thank you lord oh lord thank you thank you thank you so much we have come back oh god with a heart of thanksgiving say thank you Lord for all that you have done Father we give you all the praise thank you Jesus <laughs> thank you oh my father for giving us your son and we Father
your spirit your word on earth leave and lord leave and your spirit in your word on earth is done so think about his love about his goodness think about his grace that has brought us true for as high as the heavens above so great is the measure of our father's love great is the measure Think about his love. Think about his love. Think about his goodness. Think about his goodness. Think about his grace. Think about his grace. God is Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Yes, I'm grateful for your grace. <laughs> I'm grateful for your goodness. <laughs> and I'm grateful for your, oh yes, that has brought us through all good. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great, great. For as high, for as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our I just want you to open your mouth and give him thanks. If it's not for living and breathing, Father, <laughs> we thank you. <laughs> thank you, O oh Lord, for your love. Thank you, O oh Lord, for your grace. You did not have to do it, but you did it, and we thank you, O oh Lord. Who else will do it for us? No one but you, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy of the praise and the glory and all the adoration, oh God. We give it all to you. We give it all to you. We give it all to you. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we worship you. Oh, sad. 
Sing it again. Glory, Father, we worship you. Hosanna to your name. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Father, we worship. Father, we thank you and we glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless your name. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Manga Father, we worship. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So we put our hands together for Jesus. Make a joyful noise to Jesus. Shout hallelujah to Jesus. 
What a good Friday it is. You may gracefully take your place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, choir. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. I just want the keyboard just to play as I speak, as I encourage ourselves. What a good Friday. It's called Good Friday because it's Good Friday. Hallelujah. It is good to be in a Good Friday. It is good to be in the house of God on Good Friday. It is good to be called a Good Friday because God had made it possible to, for it to be a Good Friday. And I want to just give you one reason why this Friday is good. It might not be good for you, but for me, it is Good Friday. It is good because somebody thought about me. And he said, this young man, I just don't want you to be in that place. I want you to be in a different place. For that reason, I will give my life. So that you will be where my father is destined for you to be. Romans 5. We want to see verse 6. Romans 5 verse 6 says. The Amplified. says, while we were still helpless. Powerless to provide for our salvation. At the right time. Christ died as a substitute. For the ungodly like me. At the right time, at the right time, he died for me to do what? To bring me to that place so that I can partake in his goodness, in his love. He said, I have to do this for you because of you, Kayaba. My father has written this down because of you. I had to do this. And ends this day. It's a good day. And from then, from that period, he said, every day I've made for you, son, it's a good day. And hence the Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and what? And be glad in it. Brothers and sisters, because of what Christ has done, every day is good day. Do you get it? Every day. He paid a price to translate us from a place called darkness to light and for us to bear a name, for us to partake in the goodness of God. Isaiah 53, there we see verse 3, from verse 3, we read from, we can read from that scripture. It took Pains ordinary natural father will not do. Sometimes thoughts will come. We've had sons and daughters being sent to prison, but I've not seen any father who say, Maybe there are, I've not heard, I've not read about them. Who will go and say, Please come home? I want to take your punishment so that the 20, 50 years you are in prison, I want to take that pain. So that you be healed. No sickness will come to you. I will take upon all your sicknesses. Your pain, your sorrow. I will take all of it. It's a wonderful thing when you think about it. Let's read Isaiah 53. Just from verse 3. I want to read it together. He was despised because of Stanley. Hallelujah. And rejected by men. A man of sorrow. And familiar with suffering, like one from whom men hid their faces, he was despised. And we esteem him not. Verse 4. Surely took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. Verse 5 says, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace. Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him and by his wounds we were healed. What a wonderful God. Ends every day you think when you are, you said, I am in Christ. It's a good day. 
It doesn't matter what you're facing. It's paid the price for you and I. That price has been paid thousands of years ago. We keep saying 2,000, but I believe it's much more than the 2,000 years ago. What an awesome God. He taught about me. That's why I love this song. He's a good, good father. And his love never ceases. It on and on and on it goes. What a wonderful father. He's a beautiful father. Tonight, I just want to encourage us. Think about just that scripture. For your peace sake. He took all the pain. Just for you and I to live daily. To be in that place. You know, as God has written. He took all that. I want to say Jesus will love you. You are indeed a good, good father. There is no other God like you. No alternative. It's my language these days. No alternative to God. No alternative to Jesus. You alone I will serve. Even for just this reason. Very reason. Father, we bless your name. We come before your throne room. We pray that Lord, let our heart be open to receive your word this evening. Let it be something new in our life tonight in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless your name. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus we pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, Happy Easter. Or is it Good Friday? Amen and amen. Let me tell you a short story and then uh, God's servant will come up to come out and share the gospel. Should I give you the mic? You want the mic? Okay. Praise the living God. And he was betrayed by his best friend. When he stood before the Sahendrin, there was joy in two camps. There was joy in the camp of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And there was joy in the camp of the enemy, the devil. And when he was condemned, there was shouting in the camp of the enemy. They were all very excited that finally we've got him. When he was being beaten and smitten, there was joy and gladness. And can you imagine you being the king of your town or the king of your village? And you are looking at your son being beaten and smitten by the people you love so much. At that point in time, all the angels of God stood. And they will look at Jesus on the earth and look at God on the throne in their mind are you crazy are you mad because they didn't understand the plan they didn't know the will of God in fact the demons didn't know and so as they were looking at Jesus being beaten they will look at the father and the father sat down on the throne confidently and comfortably no human can do that I won't do that, I can't do that I will die for my sons God is my witness I will die for my sons I cannot see my sons go through pain and not do nothing but here was a man that said he is the God of almighty, I mean the almighty God the all powerful God he looked at his son and he said nothing just imagine what was going on in the mind of the angels, the minds of the angels, what they were thinking about. They were asking themselves, what is going on here? And when they were nailing him on the cross, there was joy in the camp of, of darkness. And in heaven there was silence. I could see some angels, 
Even though they may have no emotions, I could see them crying and weeping. Why? Because this one that was innocent is being crucified. And the one that says he is the king of kings, he is the Lord of lords, the one that we worship, the one that made us, he is doing nothing. Maybe you are here asking, if God is real, or you're online watching, and you are asking, if God is real, why am I still sick? Why am I going through this pain? Why do I have this challenge? If God is real and God answers prayers, why am I being, I mean, why am I allowed to go through all this stuff? Maybe you are asking yourselves questions. Questions. God, what exactly are you doing? When will you come true for me? When will you answer my prayers? And imagine Jesus Christ begging God, Father, not even God, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Lord, take away this sickness from me. Take away this disease from me. Take away this infirmity from me. Lord, make my husband a better person. Lord, make my wife a transformed person. Lord, change my children. Lord, when will I get a good job that befits my status? Lord God, when will you do this immigration miracle for me? Lord, all kind of good things going on in your mind. And yet the father is not answering you. He's not saying nothing. And then Jesus Christ, when he was about to die, all the demons in her rose up and blocked the sun. The Bible says it became dark. Sometimes when your miracle is about to happen, it gets so dark in your life that some people cannot bear it. Some even give up. Some even want to commit suicide. When, the, when it's about that time, but then he bowed his head and said, it is finished. It was not his suffering that was finished. It was not his pain that was finished. It was your suffering. He was saying to us, it is done. You are now free. Dead could not hold him. The veil tore before him. Of sin and grave, heavens are roaring. The praise of your glory, for you are I am not the preacher for the choir. I am not the preacher for today, but I want to let you know. That when he said it is finished, he was saying to you that you are free. He was saying to you, it was it is done. He was saying to you, nothing is holding you back now. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. Good to see Mommy Joyce. If my eyes are still clear. Mommy Joyce, God bless you. Mommy Joyce is Pastor Paul Pinkra's uh, uh, wife. God bless you, Mommy Joyce Pinkra. God bless you. You're welcome. Good to see you. Good to see Sue Rajko. God bless you. God bless you. Good to see you. They are pastors of the Divine Community Church. Amen. God bless you. And good to see my beloved Nicole. We are so proud of you. I and my wife always talk about you. You are doing wonderfully well. You are making not only your parents, but you are making the body of Christ uh, proud. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Welcome every one of you. And I welcome myself too. I welcome myself to this wonderful house. We have our guest speaker all the way from Africa, traveling through Europe, London, and doing some great work. 
He is the bishop over 50 churches. Well experienced man of God. Anointed and have been the ministry for over 30 something years. Well, almost 40 years if not more. Amen. 41, what? Right? 40 years and uh, God brought him our way free of charge. And he is here to bless us. Let's welcome to the pulpit Bishop um, Jonathan Ugande. He will introduce his wife. God bless you, sir. I would like you to put your hands together for Jesus. You can do better than that. Put your hands together. Please, you might be seated in God's presence. I am so honored to be in your midst tonight. I thank God for the life of my brother, uh, Bishop, Bishop Emmanuel. <laughs> you know, put your hands together for Bishop. He's my boss. <laughs> Hallelujah. And his beautiful wife, they took care of us when we came in here this afternoon. Hallelujah. Uh, I came here with my wife, uh, Sister Chika, Jonathan Ugande. She, she is the one that took me here. I'm a JJC. You know what I mean by JJC? The journey just comes. <laughs> so I don't know the road. She has to carry me up and down to be here this afternoon. Praise the Lord. And the choir did amazing, amazing time. Let's celebrate the choir. You remind me of my choir in Abuja. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I believe that there is something that God has in store for you. So I would like you to stand up on your feet and say, Lord, speak to me tonight. That which is mine, deliver to me. That which is mine, deliver to me. I would like you to be conscious of that prayer tonight. That which is mine, Lord, deliver to me. Bible says he sent his word and healed them. That is what the Bible says. He sent his word and healed them. His word delivers them from all destruction. From all destruction. I would like someone to read for me from the congregation Genesis chapter 27 and verse 20. Very loudly. Just one prayer point and we'll be done. Genesis Chapter 27, read verse 20 quickly. Yes. Isaac asked, how did you find it so quickly, my son? Isaac asked, how did you find it so quickly, my son? Yes. The Lord your God put it in my path, Jacob replied. How did you find this so quickly? We are going to pray against delay. Pray against delay. Many times delay comes because of diversions. Diversions. You know that something is coming for you. You know that what is coming is yours. And suddenly it diverts. Apart from diversions, delays comes because of go slow. You, you are very sure, you are very definite that you have prayed and, and God has answered, but it's coming very too slowly. The, as we have the physical hold up, Physical God's law, so it is in the spirit. So, whatsoever that is causing God's law, you are going to whip it away tonight. You are going to cancel tonight. 
whatsoever that is causing diversion, you know that it's yours, and then it goes to somebody else, you're going to cancel tonight. Open the mouth and say, Father. Open the mouth and say, Father. I come against go slow. I come against go slow. I come against diversions. I will receive my blessings. I will receive my miracle. Even tonight. Open the mouth and begin to pray. I want to hear you pray. I want to hear you pray. He said, my son, how did you get it quickly? He said, your God gave it to me. I'll receive what is mine. That is your prayer. That is your prayer. That is your prayer. I come against go slow. I come against go slow. I come against hold up. I come against delay. I come against delay in my family. I come against delay in my family. Come on, open the mouth. Come on, open the mouth. Come on, open the da, 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 da. Come on, open the mouth. Come on, open the mouth. I come against delay. I come against refusal. I come against distractions. I receive what is mine. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let go the day, Santa. I worship you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Your hands are lifted. Raising up of hands is, is a body language. It is an indication that I hand over. Yeah, that's what it means. Lord, I hand over. For 38 years, this important man was at a pool and not because God wasn't there God miracles were happening but this man had been at the pool for 38 years 38 years of no testimony 38 years of reproach 38 years of delay 38 years of diversion but the Bible said that that very day Jesus showed up and Jesus saved him of all the pains of running into the pool and Jesus showed up and he said you don't need to go all that you don't need to go through the stress rise up and on the spot the power of God came upon the important man and he rose up I come against every delay in your family. The spirit behind delay, I come against you. I come against you. If you believe, say amen. Every spirit of delay, I come against it tonight. I come against it tonight. I come against it tonight. In the name of Jesus. What is yours will come to you. What is yours will come to you. If you believe, say amen. What is for your husband will come to him. What is for your wife will come to you. What is for your children will come to you. Lift up your hand and say amen. Lift up your hand and shout the loudest amen. When Jesus said it is finished, it means that it is truly finished. Affliction shall not come a second time. Affliction shall not come a second time. For all of the delay, for all of the reproach, thou shalt receive double. I said thou shalt receive double. Lead up a hand and shout amen. Take all the glory, Father. Wipe away tears tonight. Saka da 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 da. Wipe away tears tonight. Take away shame. Take away the garment of shame. Affliction shall not come a second time. I pray for you that 
after tonight, they shall ask you, how did you get it so quickly? After tonight, you will look at yourself, how many times you failed, and you shall ask yourself, how did I get it now so quickly? The Lord shall help you. The Lord shall promote you. The Lord shall fight for you. The Lord shall heal you. The Lord shall take away your sin. You shall come out of prison. You shall come out of shame. Lift up your hand and shout amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Please you might be seated. I want to talk to you on what I tied to power to set the captives free. You have stayed in this condition for too long a time. It's a time for you to come out. There's a story in the book of Luke chapter 10 from verse 13 about a woman the daughter of Abraham. Praise God. And this is a child of destiny. But the Bible says he was bowed like this. Condition and circumstances imprisoned this godly woman. This holy woman. This Pentecostal woman. This daughter of Abraham. Notwithstanding situation crippled her. She couldn't stand. She couldn't walk straight. Sometimes you wonder why the things she don't want to do are the things she do it. And the things you really want to do, you cannot do them. You find yourself, you feel, you, you find yourself in a powerless situation. Tonight is your day of deliverance. This lady was bound like this. She can't go straight. Her things don't go straight. Her testimony doesn't end in praise. And the Bible said, Jesus was in the... One good thing about this lady is that despite her condition and circumstances, she will never miss a church. Nobody say amen. amen. No matter her condition, no matter her imprisonment, she was always in church. She was always in church. And then she was in church. And Jesus showed up. Talking about power to set captives free. And Jesus was in charge as, she, as he is tonight. He is by your side to remove the garment of shame, to take away frustration, to take away infertility. I believe that tonight. A door shall be open for you. Yeah. I mean you. Yeah. You that looks as if nothing good goes to you. You that looks as if there's always a delay. Tonight the power of delay shall be taken away. Yeah. I she was in church. I like church. David said, I was glad when they said, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go to the house of the Lord. No matter what, I will be in church. I will be in fellowship. I don't need to be coerced to go to church. I don't need to be begged to go to church. I want to be in fellowship no matter what. No matter what betides me. Come on, say amen. She was in church and on time. She was in church and on time. No matter predicaments. No matter what people take thinking about her or saying about her. That 
wash your cup of tea. I'll be judged today. And she showed up. We are talking about power to set the captives free. And I have 25 minutes to go. Jesus is ministering. I cited her. Jesus saw her and knew that she had been there for a long time. He knows what you are going through. I do like you. Amen. Don't you ever think or say that nobody cares. Jesus cares. Just come to church. What I mean by just come to church, because you will say, I have come to church, but really you have to come to church when you are in the church. Because some people are in the church boldly, but they are somewhere else. Come on, say amen. amen. Yeah, because they come to church, but they're still worried. And she was in church, and Jesus saw her, and Jesus stretched his hand and touched her. And the Bible says that evil spirit, that infirmity that crippled her, <sighs> off it went. Off it went. What? I believe in instantaneous miracles. I believe in instant miracles. I believe in on the spot miracles. Tonight is your night. Tonight is your night. If you believe it, say amen. That was the power that set that woman free. I am convinced that somebody is here tonight. The power of God shall hit your life. If you are the one, lift up your hand and say, Amen. Anytime I talk about the power of God, this picture, this testimony of a lady in Abuja comes to mind. This lady. Is, is over 45 years. 45 years a lady. And nobody has ever come to her and said, woman, I love you. Thank you very much. No, you are my boss. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm talking to you. I am part of the church. So I'm talking from my heart to you. Because I know that I know that I know that you will live here with a testimony. So this lady is over 45 years. Beautiful lady. Educated. Working. She has a car in Abuja. She has a house. She's working. She's beautiful. She's born again. Over 45 years. And nobody has ever come there and said, honey, I love you. Nobody. If you are the one, how, how would you feel? Or if she, she's your daughter, how would you feel? We are talking about the power to set the captives free so that they can fulfill their glorious destiny. What God has written concerning you shall come to pass. I don't like that, that, that thing that makes someone who is in the UK for 10 years and not better than someone in, in his hometown. That devil is a liar. So look at what happened to this lady. No, nothing is happening. And then she was in church. And the preacher came as have come. And was preaching the gospel. Talking about the power of God. Talking about the power of God. And God told the preacher that somebody is in the congregation that is possessed with a husband spirit. Spiritual husband. I don't have time to tell you my experiences about the spiritual wife I had. Okay, it's terrible. Praise God. Nobody wanted to marry me, sir. 
I approached 19 women. They will not marry me, say no. Please, can you marry me, say no. 19 of them. I know that they are too beautiful like that. Too. <laughs> I know that they are too beautiful like that. Too. I don't have to talk about my own. Let's leave it. Amen. Until I was free. Until I was free. So I have the experience. Tonight is your night of freedom. It's your night of freedom. Lift up your hand and shout, Amen. Amen. So this lady was in church. And the pastor was preaching. And was talking about the power of God. And God told him that there's somebody in the church. That is tied to a spiritual personality. And the pastor said, wherever, whoever you are. I'll release fire on you now. And you know, normally everybody shouted, Amen. But this lady noticed that something left her. She knew that something happened to her. The church was over. Everybody is going home. She was driving home. And when she got close to her house, she noticed that all the lights in the house were all on. All the lights were on. She was surprised. How come? And when I was going to church, I switched over all the lights. How come the lights are on? She was surprised. She stays alone in the house. She opened the door. She discovered that uh, all the tables, dining, all the chairs were turned upside down. The kitchen was cut out. What is this? She was, she was more terrified. And she tiptoed to put her bag in her bedroom so that she would come out and raise her lamp. So when she opened her door, she noticed that somebody was lying on the bed covered with clothes. Or something in the form as long as and as big as a human being lied on the bed, covered with her clothes. She was scared, she ran out, and people came and once asked, Who are you lying on this bed? No answer. Who are you lying on this bed? No answer. So one went out and carried the long pole to, to uncover. So when they opened the cloth. They saw a big python, big snake, dead. Snake as big as a human. Have you ever seen such before? As big as a human being, dead, dead straight. Snake as big, not just cobra, as big as human being, dead straight, covered with her cloth. Yes, sir. So that is. When she was in church, and that her spiritual husband was there, and when the man goes out, at least fire, the fire fell on the husband, so to say, and he ran home. I was scattering everywhere. I was struggling to die, scattered everywhere, hit the bed, and covered himself, but still died. Tonight, whatsoever is standing on your glorious destiny, let it receive fire. Let it receive fire. Let it receive fire. Lift up your hand and shout, Amen. The story is that two months after that incident, very dangerous young man showed up. Very dangerous young man approached her for the first time in 45 years. And soon after that, they got married. So you see, 30, 45 years of captivity ended that day. I don't care how many years you have been in this shame, you have been in this pain. Receive freedom now. Receive freedom now. If you believe in lift up your hand and say amen. amen. Very quickly, how do we, what is this power that sets the captives free? Number one, this power is called redemption. So I say redemption. Except and until a man be born again. Yes. Unless an 
cannot tear. The mom is born again. Cannot see the kingdom of God. Shall not enter into the mainstream. Glorious destiny. Joyful destiny. He comes on a platform of genuine new birth. I was preaching in church last Sunday. I told them how my life was useless. I was a useless man. Useless. And yet I thought that I was on top of life. I told the church I was a major dealer on India Hen. I'm sorry. I, I was not, I was not just smoking India Hen. I was eating it. <clears throat> I had a farm. I, I was a farmer of India Hen, sir. I'm sorry about it. And yet that devil was letting me look as if I am on top of life. And I was dying daily. You are here tonight. God says you tell you you are close. You are just one amen away to victory. But it must be born again. You are just one service away. And this is the day. I said remember one day. We were, we were doing competition sir. So everybody went to their farm and harvest a lot of food. Oh, yes, but you have not seen there yet. You harvest, are you feeling the voice? You harvest it. So we we'll harvest it, sir. And we we'll, we'll put it in the, in the pot, eating pot, and boil it. The way we boil it, go. Do you know it, go? <laughs> That's coming from the village, so. So we we'll boil it. The water turns black. I will put the water into the bottles. I will use syringe. And throw it. You will turn your bum bum. They will register in their him in your veins. It goes straight to your brains. The remaining leaves, we will put it on rice. Like a leaf or something, I eat it. That was how I was becoming miserable per day, per day, per day. Until the glorious light of the gospel shone upon my soul. And I gave my love to Jesus since that day from strength to strength. There is something that redemption does. To the captive. Those who are supposed to have been a captain. They have been captives all the years. You who should have been an umbrella. You have been a shed. Have been a counselor. Being a captive. He that told you. You are captive. And I was born again. So the power of redemption. Read quickly. A lot of people reading for me. Quickly. First John. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, quickly. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. The power of redemption, quickly. Quickly. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. Four. Yes. For every child of God defeats this evil world. What is it? For every child of God defeats this evil world. For every chi child of God do. Every child of God defeats this evil world. I know where I'm coming from. I know the condition and circumstances of my background. What gave me victory is because I gave my life to Christ. Because every child, read another translation for us. That's a good one, but another translation. For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. Overcometh the world, if even our faith. So, if you want blessing to come quickly, and some of you, this Easter, you will never forget it. Amen. You will never forget it. Amen. Some of you here, you don't even know what miracle is. For the first time, God will prove to you that it's a miracle working God. Amen. I don't, if you believe, say amen. amen. 
So you might be born again. Number two, very quickly, because some of the time, kingdom advancement engagement. Kingdom advancement engagement is the second power that makes people free. The one is salvation, redemption. Number two is kingdom advancement engagement. Read 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Quickly, verse 58. And I will soon round up. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Quickly. Therefore, my beloved brethren, Hold on. Therefore, my brethren, hearing something, what is this? Stand what? Yes. Therefore, my brethren, stand. Don't be like paper. You know what, sir? Some people's word is like papers. Some this more, they go away. Some this more, they vex. This kind of thing is this. Something small, they vex. Because I didn't greet you, you become angry. You didn't greet everybody. If you want to be free, you must be fame. Say, stand fame. That suggests that sometimes the wind may blow. Persecution may come. Eruption may occur. But the Bible says you should do what? Stand fame. Stand fame. The rolling stone gathers no moss. What did he say you do? Stand let nothing move you. Let, if you say nothing, it means nothing. Let nothing move you. Something is coming your way. I'm serious. The time shall come in your life. You will share your story with tears of joy. That is why you should stand firm. Don't worry. Don't be moving up and down. Then it says, always give yourself fully to the work. Come on. Yeah, give yourself how much? Fully. Give yourself fully. What it says will happen? Because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. It says, you give yourself fully. You ask yourself, if everybody is participating in this church the way I am doing, can this church be what it is now? We are not just to be firm. He said we should give ourselves what? Fully. Fully. Let's run that because of time. So number two, we say is what? Kingdom advancement engagement. Be engaged. And you shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless your bread and bless your water. Shall take away sickness, and not he shall cast his young, and the number of your days shall be fulfilled. Amen. Yes. Amen. When you engage in it, when you are bringing people to church, when you are giving testimonies about your church, giving testimonies about your pastor. Telling people what has happened to you since you joined the church. Yes. Bring, when you get money, the first thing that comes to your mind is your word of a tent. Yes. That is what it means by giving yourself fully. When you do, he said that your labor will not be in vain. The last thing I'm going to say. And I, I'm not going to read because it's one power that sets captives free is prophetic words. Amen. I'm not talking about prophecy. That's all, and then they say, I see, I don't, that's not what I'm talking about. Prophetic word is when your pastor stands you up and prays on you. Make declarations on you. Ask the devil to hold, takes his hand away. The kind of prophecy that that pastor went to that church and said, somebody is here and there's a demon on your life and release fire. That is what will happen to you tonight. Like you to stand up on your feet. 
You stand upon the feet. You know that in a valley, katatatata, in a valley of Ezekiel, year 37, Bible tells us that dry bones, what's say dry bones? Repeat dry bones. Dry bones. They died. That is, they suffer, suffer, suffer until they died. Died long ago. Forgotten. Yes, sir. Either sick or hungry. They began to emaciate. Became sick until they died. They became decomposed. They are forgotten. Bible says the sucking mother must forget a child, but God will not forsake us. He is here tonight. These people suffered until they died and were forgotten, but their destiny had appointment with freedom. And so God sent his servant. And the servant stood by the, by the side of the valley and prophesied. He said, oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thou shalt live again. Amen. And when he said like that, palm, the power of God landed. They began to rise up. They began to rise up. They began to rise up. The Bible said, why the rise up? Because... Born, joined to the right born. Born, joined to the right born. It's not only unity, but also connection. When you have one good man in your life, you know, sir, that one little David was better than a battalion of soul. The prayer I'm going to do for you here, God, da, 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 da. That one good man will come into your life. He had, had the national army. And they couldn't help him. A national army. They had the ammunition. They had expertise. They had the number. And no could help him. It's a little boy. 70 years old. He said, I will go. Praise God. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Let every other name fade away. Gada da 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 da. Hey, kala da da da. Every other name fade. You know the song? Let every other name fade away. Fade away. Hey. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Let every other name fade away. Ah, Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. In your life today, Jesus, take your place, Lord. Let every other name fade away. Da, 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 da. Fade away, I know, fade away. 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 F
shall find a way. I must find a way. take your place. Every other name In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands wherever you are. I see every other name fading away. I command on this mountain every other name that exalts itself against the knowledge of the will of God, let it fade away. Let it fade away. Let the charm fade away. Let the power of divination fade away. Let it fade away. Let it fade away. Lift up your hand and say, Amen. Every divination, every enchantment, every ritual that I put together against you, let it fade away. Let it fade away. Let it fade away. Lift up your hand and shout, Amen. I command every delay to pass away. Every delay to pass away. Whatsoever that is causing go slow or come slow in your life and family, let it be removed. Let it be removed. Let it be removed. If you believe it, say amen. I speak over your life. They shall ask you how come that you find it so quickly. The Lord shall perfect all that concerns you. The Lord shall fight your battles. The Lord shall defend you. I see God open his hand and is blessing you tonight. I see God open his hand and blessing your family. I'm blessing your family. I'm blessing your family. Before I hand over the microphone, see, it's very, very important. I flew many hundreds of hundreds of miles to speak to you tonight. The reason is because your time has come. This is your season. So many of you, you need to amend your ways. And you know what I'm talking about. This is the time. You need to do some corrections. Do some, I am sorry. You are here tonight. You say, I want to give my love to Christ afresh. I want to be born again. Can I see your hand up? It's very important. Say, pray for me. I want to be born again. Raise the hand above your head. And number two, you want to, you want to, you want to make some amends. Want to do some, you have been up and down. You've been born again, but you've been up and down. And this is a special season for you. You want God to restore to you your salvation. Restore to you your integrity. Restore to you your glory. Raise your hand above your head. We're going to pray. Let God restore something to me. I lost something before. And this preacher came just because of me. Raise the hand above your head. Come on. God bless you. Place that hand on your chest. Say, so this, this service is for me tonight. I, I have strayed away. I have strayed away in many ways. But Lord, today I'm coming home. Place that hand on your chest. Hallelujah.
in Jesus name every eyes are closed this service is meant for you God is aware of the go slow delays, delays, delays but God is saying you must surrender your battles to him so I'd like you to walk if you pray that prayer and you are serious you know that this is your day come forward, come to the altar and, and the pastor the senior pastor and I shall speak over your life don't delay and don't allow this moment to pass you just come forward the preacher, this service is for me I will hold nothing, I will surrender my life, completely I will never let this moment shall I join him, come forward the Lord says, if you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Cantalebo Shantos. Who is saying, I surrender. I am not ashamed. I will never let this moment pass me. I am here all by myself. I will never let this miracle pass me. I will not joke with my tomorrow. Come and join her. Come and join her. You don't want to do smith man. This is an opportunity. You should have been coming running. You should be coming running. I run. There's a song that I run. Come running. Come running. Come running. I surrender my life. I surrender my battles. I surrender my fear. This is your day. Come running. Come and join them. You will never like yourself if this service is over and you didn't come to the altar. You will not be happy. This is your time. tonight by the power that sets the captives free and here are your children some in the altar and some behind Lord thank you because a miracle will happen quickly I pray for you that come that it shall be a testimony in your life they shall ask you how did you find it quickly the Lord shall give it to you the Lord shall give it to you every power of delay and shame around your life I cancel I cancel I cancel, I cancel in the name of Jesus. No divination shall keep you bound anymore. Every enchantment, every ritual and concussion they put together to fight you, I'll release fire. I'll release fire. I'll release fire. I'll release fire in the name of Jesus. Lord, open your hand and release your blessing upon the family, upon the family, upon the family, upon the work of their hands. Receive in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. May God perfect all that concerns you. God says, tell you, he has seen your tears. Every tear you shed shall be converted to tears of joy, tears of victory, tears of a better relationship, tears of enlargement, 
in the name of Jesus I speak you by God that the Egyptians that you see now you shall see them no more the horse and the rider shall be drowned into the sea if I'm talking to you say amen thank you father in Jesus precious name amen put your hands together for the Lord as we welcome God servant also Let's give uh, the man of God a big round of applause. Oh, thank you very much, sir. God brought you hundreds and hundreds of miles away just to come and bless us. We really appreciate you and we receive that word. You know, recently, sir, the, the, the queen was in the news. I think she... She went to commemorate one year remembrance of uh, her husband. Uh, and one thing that strikes is that the queen and the royalty, they are never late to an engagement. If they are going to an engagement, they will tell you the exact minute. They will walk out of their house. The minute they will enter the car. The minute they will arrive. The minute they will walk in. They are never late. We, when we encounter delay, we are late. <laughs> but from today, there shall be no more delay. Amen. In your life, there shall be no more. Delay. Amen. In my life, no more delay. Amen. We receive that word, sir. Amen. Amen. Uh, at this juncture, we shall take an offering. As uh, we do so, uh, the ushers will give you envelopes. You know, feel free to give voluntarily. And uh, to fill the envelopes appropriately, as you do so, I will just read one scripture and encourage you. And it's in line with what the man of God has shared. Jesus talking about himself identified what God had for him on earth. In fact, the Bible says at the fullness of time. So Jesus did not delay. He came at the right time. He knew where to be at the right time. At some point, he said, I need to pass through Samaria because that was the time to pass through Samaria. He says, when the book was delivered unto him, he says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, the recovering of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised. Amen. And that's what we are talking about today. That if you are in captivity, if the enemy has held you captive for any reason, your time has come. If you've been bruised by the enemy, if you've been battered by the enemy, your time has come. Today is your day. I say today is my day. I receive it. If your offering is ready, Let's stand up to our feet and, you know, just thank God for your offering. Just begin to appreciate God for giving you the opportunity to give, for ministering unto you in the first place, that out of the abundance he's giving you, that you are bringing some to him today. You know, begin to appreciate God. In Jesus' name. Father Lord, we thank you for this great opportunity to bring our offerings before you. We ask that you receive this from us and that you bless every giver, bless every tither. Father, for every infirmity table before you today, we believe that this is the end of that issue in the name of Jesus. For everyone suffering in silence, Father, we believe there shall be a turning around starting from this moment. We give you thanks, Lord. Have your way in our lives. In 
Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Lord, you are good and your mercy and your rest forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy and your rest forever. Sing, Lord, you are good. Yeah. Lord, you are good and your mercy and your rest forever. Sing, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy and your rest forever. One more time, sing, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercies endure forever. People from every nation, people from every nation and tribe, from generation to generation, we worship you. Good Lord. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure it forever. Oh, Lord, you are good, say. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure it forever. Sing, Lord, you are good, yeah. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure it forever. Oh, people from every nation. People from every nation.
Lord a victorious shout of hallelujah. Amen and amen. What a wonderful beginning. Praise God. If today is like this, what about tomorrow? What about Sunday? Tomorrow we are going to start five on the dot because we are closing at seven on the dot. Praise the living God. I believe that the path of the just is like a shining light that shines more and more onto a perfect day. I believe that God will not only refresh God's servant, but that God will anoint him afresh for tomorrow. For he said that he appoints his servant to give us our meat in due season. Praise God. What you've seen today and heard is nothing compared to what God will be doing tomorrow. If I am you or if I were you, I will encourage my friends and particularly my enemies to be here tomorrow. Amen. Sir, you blew our minds. I am so blessed. Amen. I am so blessed by that wonderful teaching and preaching. And I was saying to myself, what else can I say? I hope my members will not leave after you are gone. Amen. They will say, no, bring him back. We don't want you again. Bring him back. But that was wonderful. That was wonderful. Now, as a pastor of this church, I have this habit that when people are preaching, I listen to what they are saying, but much more to what they are not saying, but what the Holy Spirit is saying. Because I have a responsibility to protect the people. But I want to say this, sir. You are clean, and you blessed us well. May the Lord God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Tomorrow, like I said, 5 p.m. we are here. We are praying from 4.30 as workers. So join us in the prayers, 4.30. And then uh, service starts at 5. And you know that we don't do African time here. When we say 5, it is 5. Praise God. So come on time. Leave whatever you are doing. And for those whose names are, are called shift, please shift the shift to another shift. Amen. And God will bless you. Lift your hands up towards heaven and give God thanks for the blessing of the word of God. Acknowledge him. Just praise him. Thank him. Thank him. And if I were you, I will thank him by faith for the miracle I received today. No more delay in my life. No more stagnation. Every prison door is opened. God's name will be glorified. Just appreciate him. Appreciate him. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for the wonderful charge and blessing from your servant. Thank you for your anointing upon his life. Thank you for your grace upon him that made him to impact all this night. We give all praise and glory unto your name. Thank you for the choir, for their commitment and dedication. Thank you for the ushers, almighty God. Thank you, Lord God, King of Kings, for those that came from far and near. And for those who are watching online, your name be glorified in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. For the King of Kings, you kept us alive January, February. This is March, I mean, April, March, April. Father, this night, none shall die. Everyone that wants to come back tomorrow will come back alive in the name of Jesus. There shall be no evil report whatsoever. And whatever is tormenting your sons and daughters uh, by the prophetic unction upon your servant uh, and this ministry, we put an, an end to it uh, in the name of Jesus. You say you foul, we say you foul spirit. 
you have no control again. You have no power again. If a 45-year-old woman can be delivered to get married, Father, there's nothing you cannot do. Do that which only you can do and receive all glory and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Once again, if I were you, I would not just rush out as if I'm a Russian. I would just look for someone I've not seen before and just cut and say, oh, hello, how are you? My name is Amen. Just introduce yourself and don't just go and wonder you see the person in the market or in the shop and you say, I think I know this face. No. No. Praise God. We say therefore, may the grace Surely, all the days of our lives, and we shall do in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Now, if you are here for the first time or second time and you don't know me, please come and say hello to me. Don't just go. God bless you.